It's about to get serious. Alright. <laughs> so picture this with me for a second. There's no, we have a wall, right? And this wall is a symbol for sin. So that wall equals sin, right? Everybody is chained to this wall. We all have a chain and we can't free ourselves. Only Jesus Christ can free ourselves from the wall. And when we ask Jesus to save us, he comes in and he breaks the chains and we are free and God calls us to live for him and to seek and to follow Jesus daily and to seek him daily and to live for him daily. So if Jesus frees us, why are so many Christians back at the wall? Amen. Jesus asks us to take a step of faith and trust him and to follow him to walk away from the wall. So that we can live in the purpose that God gives us. And God has a purpose for everyone. But so many Christians, me included, we find ourselves back at the wall. And the beautiful thing is, is we're not chained to the wall because Jesus broke our chains. Amen. So we're no longer chained to the wall. Amen. But we go there ourselves because we love sin so much. And we just sit there and we just hold the wall because it's like we wish we never would have left because it's comfortable. Because we love our sin more than we love our Creator. Because we're afraid to step out and to live different from this world, from what culture tells us to. But the beautiful thing is, is that Jesus, he never leaves us. And I feel like I picture this, Jesus is behind us and our face is towards the wall, right? The Lord's this way and we're, we're, we're facing our sin. We love our sin so much and Jesus is just behind us, just tapping us on the shoulder, just trying to get our attention. And he's just tapping us and he's tapping us. And I can just imagine Jesus is behind us and he's weeping and he's yelling. He's saying, I freed you from this wall. I freed you from the sin. Why do you want to go back? And it's offered you nothing but suffering and nothing but pain. And it will never offer you anything else but suffering and pain. Mm -hmm. How do we stay free from the wall after Jesus frees us? We can't do it on our own. I can't do it on my own. We do that by fixating our eyes on Jesus. We find victory in his name because Jesus Christ has victory over sin. Jesus Christ has conquered sin. Jesus Christ has victory over the wall. And he's conquered the wall. Jesus defeated two things that humans can never defeat on our own. Death and sin. He conquered it. He now has authority over heaven and on earth. And we now have victory over the wall and victory over sin in the name of Jesus. So look to him. So if you are a Christian here today and you find yourself back at the wall, hugging it, straining it, allowing sin to continue to control you, there is hope because Jesus Christ has victory over it and you have victory too.